Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you the newly introduced functionality called simulate key figure calculation. This is a very handy functionality that has been introduced in IBP because as of today, whenever we write a new key figure calculation or modify an existing key figure expression, the only way that we can validate our results is after we have done the changes, we save the key figures, activate the planning area, then go to the planning view, select the appropriate planning view that has the required key figure, load some data and test and validate the results. Now, in many cases where we have to write complex key figure expression, there are chances that we have to repeat and reiterate the process multiple times to ensure that our results are coming correctly. And in order to do so, we had to activate the planning area multiple times, validate, revalidate, which takes a considerable amount of time to do the development. Now, with the introduction of this simulate key figure calculation, we can get rid of this long time of process of activating planning areas. Whether we are writing a new key figure or we are basically modifying an existing key figure calculation, in this simulation environment, we can see and check the results and validations at each and every step and level. And if there are any errors that we have done from our end or there are any missing master data, that can be identified in the simulation environment itself so that we can take the corrective action. And once we are satisfied with the simulation results, we can then go ahead and activate the planning area once and for all. Now, this development or this functionality really helps in reducing the config or the development time for new key figure development or modifying existing key figure. Now, how this exactly work is what I'm going to show you. So for that purpose, in this planning view, I have selected particular two products, product one and product two. And the key figure on which I am going to do this simulation is called week of supply. This is a custom key figure wherein I have written the key figure expression for coverage in order that this key figure will show me my weeks of coverage or days of coverage based on the projected ending inventory that I have in a particular bucket. And then it will generate and show me what for how many weeks or how many days will this projected inventory last. Now, when I have written this key figure expression, after that, I could see and check here that the results are not coming correctly. So, if I have a projected inventory of 33,333, the week of supply or the coverage cannot be zero because I am having sufficient demand in the future. Hence, from here, I can see and check and tell that the key figure calculation is not working correctly. The same applies for this product location combination as well, wherein I could see the coverage is showing zero, which is wrong because if in week 22, I have an inventory projected ending balance of 313 and the demand that I have is this that is close to 315 for the next few weeks the week of supply should not be zero it should be close to two but that's not happening because there is something wrong either in the calculation in my expression or in any of the input key figures that are being used for this calculation now why are the errors and all this that is what this simulate key figure calculation functionality is going to help me identify now let's see how it works. So here I go to the simulate key figure calculation wherein I have to create a simulation. So this is the new simulation screen where we have to select the right planning area. We have to also select the template where that key figure is. So in this case, I will select the component view template and the key figure that I have Developed is called weeks of supply. Now 
weeks of supply and let's say the time frame that i want to give is from today which is 10th to some periods in the future and for the purpose of this demo the two products that i have shown you in the planning view for that i have created a filter call test now two things to remember is this simulate key figure not only works on active planning area but it also works on inactive planning areas so if we are writing a new key figure or introducing a new key figure and have written an expression the planning area status will be inactive but still you can simulate the calculation of the inactive key figure in this simulation environment and validate the result and in the simulation setting we have simulation scope of complete graph and selected nodes what are those i will come across in this demo only so now we have selected the key figure the planning area the required planning view the required filter and i will now create the simulation once i create the simulation you can see that the key figure graph is getting populated and once that is populated so since this is the key figure where i want to validate the results and if i click on to here you can see the simulation result is showing exactly the wrong values which are presently being shown in the planning view templates now why these values are coming wrong that is what we are here to identify with the help of this application so for the first time we should go and select simulate complete so that the simulation starts from the beginning and it will show us all the required things that we need to know now it already the status says the simulation is a success now let's see where are the errors so if you look it is showing me the entire graph and map what are the input key figures from what level they are coming into the calculation so on so forth now if you see here this are this levels are called nodes and i could see there are four issues due to which the coverage key figure is not showing me the calculation and those four issues are on four different nodes that are highlighted in different color so if i click on to this faulty nodes i could see there are results but they are having some faults and what are those faults we will check that one by one so if you see here the production the production there is no production plan there is no planning object now how do i get rid of this since this is a development that i know i have done so i know where the problem is it the problem is the problem that is with this calculation is for this location product planning level there is an attribute as key figure called helper for planning object creation where the value of one should be automatically populated since this is an aak but that value is missing so from here i can come to know that due to a missing master data or key figure input my whole calculation is coming wrong so what i will do is i will go and do the required correction so the, i have intentionally removed this uh, planning object so as to i could show this to you in the demo so here uh, now i have maintained the required inputs uh, but uh, this is just a demo wherein i have just created a problem but in a real life example this application will show you or it can show you where exactly the problem lies whether it is a missing master data or whether it is a missing attribute whether it is a wrong calculation at a different input level of one of the input key figures accordingly th those levels and nodes will be highlighted here now since i have already taken care of the calculation i have already taken care or rectified the missing planning objects 
and I have already done that. So what I will do now is I will re-simulate it again. Now, once the simulation is complete, let's check. So now, let us take a look at the calculation. Now you see, I am getting the right calculation here where in week 22, I am getting the required or the correct weeks of supply. The same is in week 23, 24, 25 and so on. Now, let's go and see the results in the planning view as well. Now you see in week 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, we are now having the correct weeks of supply getting updated. And the same is appearing here in the calculation as well. So this is how this key figure simulation fun calculation functionality works. This is a new feature, but it will come very, very handy for any small or big key figure related change or development that we do or that we have to do frequently in today's IBP project and engagements. So that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.